and we shout the name of Jesus. We are still starting. Can we shout the name of Jesus? The Bible says, to the name that is above every other name. That at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow, every tongue confess that Jesus is Lord. At the name of Jesus, heaven shall open. At the names of Jesus, doors are open. The Bible says, I have the key of David. I open the door, no man can shut. If you believe in that name, all of that is building. Can we all rise to our feet? We want to shout that name. And let the heavens open. We want to shout that name. And let doors break loose. Are we ready? Are we ready? Are we ready? Can we shout the name of Jesus? We are not ready. We are not ready. That blind man called Bartholomew. That blind man called Bartholomew. The Bible says he saw Jesus passing. He saw the Prince of Peace passing. And he said, Thou son of David, have mercy on me. And that was his turn around. If you believe tonight, it's your turn around. Can we shout the name? Of Jesus for the last time. You want to go again for the last time? The Bible says Jesus came into that room. He said, Peace be unto you. He needed not the opening of the door. He just walked in and appeared. And he decreed peace. I want to tell you tonight Jesus does not need the details of your problem, He does not need the blockades of your family limitation. All he does is to appear. And when he appears, that is the end of your problem. If you need him to appear tonight, you want to shout that name again. Are you ready for the last show? Government, are you ready? Government, Thank you, Jesus. Can we shout the name Jesus? Jesus? Oh my God. Wow. Hallelujah. 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 Before I proceed, I want to thank God for this opportunity. I'm the least of everyone here. Okay. And I believe that God has prepared something for us. I also want to thank our Father, the fathers of fathers, our pastor, the one that has labored upon this land, upon this ministry, just to bring it to this point. Our pastor, our daddy, the Bible says double honor is required for men who teach you skillfully righteousness. Thank you, sir, for training us. Thank you for traveling until Christ is formed in us. We would say thank you, daddy. We will not fail God and we will not fail you, sir. I also want to thank the pastors and the fathers that are walking hand in hand with our Father and the Lord. We have some members and all the government fathers. Thank you for holding the strong arm of faith. God bless you in the name of Jesus. I also want to thank 
our head of youth and campus ministry, Pastor, doctor, engineer, Tudio Joe. Thank you very much, sir, for believing in us. Thank, Thank you, sir, for the labor of law. We believe that by the grace of God, we attain unto maturity. I also want to thank the National Campus Pastors. My pastor, my spiritual father in the work of mini ministry. Pastor Professor Moses Aderibe. Can we clap our hands? Can we do better, everybody? Also, the national youth pastor, Pastor Baba, today. Thank you very much. And also to the national cop, copas pastor. Pastor, do you hear me? Thank you very much for holding the faith. I believe God is ready for us tonight. I'm so, so happy to be here. The reason why I'm happy is because I come in the volume of many prayers. When I mean many prayers, not my prayer. But the prayer of all the fathers standing here praying for us. We want to say thank you, sir. And God, we honor your prayers tonight. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many of us is ready for what God is said to do tonight? Wave your hands to the Lord. If you are ready for what God is said to do tonight, can we just sing this song three times? Like fire, like rain, let your glory come. Like fire, like rain, let it fall. Come on. Like fire, like rain, oh, like fire. Can we sing that song very well? Let your glory come tonight. Holy Ghost, I ask that you come for us. Like fire, so you know, like rain, let it One more time. Like fire, like rain, oh, like fire. Like rain, let your glory come. My father, the God of my fathers, we ask that you come for us tonight. Don't leave us like this. Come and speak peace upon our lives. In Jesus' mighty name, I will pray. Can we clap for the Lord and have our seat? Clap for the Lord and have your seat. Oh. Hallelujah. 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 If you have your Bible, I want you to join with me. I will be as fast as possible because of the constraint of time. So please join with me. As we come into what God has prepared for us prophetically. The book of First Peter chapter 2. We read from verse 9. So you can do well to open your Bible. So we trust the Lord for transformation. Are we together? Are we together? The Bible says, But ye are a chosen generation. How many people is happy to hear that you are a chosen generation? A royal priesthood. A holy nation. A peculiar people. 
that you should show for the praises of him who had called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. I want you to do something with me. So you put yourself in that scripture and we all read that scripture to ourselves. Can we do that together? Want to go. But I am a chosen generation. A royal priesthood. A holy nation. A peculiar people. That I should show for the praises of him. Who had called me out of darkness. Into his marvelous life. Because of time, I will not start from the word but. Because the word but is entrenched in the other verses. I will beg you tonight, please just stay with me. It's a very short while for God to change our lives. So I'm going to start with, you are chosen generation. Now the word chosen, the Tia word yon. chosen Tia is a very critical word. And the apostle Peter apostle Peter was writing unto the Gentile in Romans. And I want to come to us to make us understand what do we mean to be chosen. The God we serve is an intentional God. I said the God we serve is an intentional God. And what God does is that God and picks and he separates. Now, when we begin to look at the seed of promise, talking about Jesus, God started with Abraham. And unto Abraham, he was promised that Jesus will come to his loins. Abraham started with one child called Isaac. Abraham, God chose that child. Continued unto Esau and Jacob. There was a little disruption. God chose Jacob. Jacob. I want you to see something so we can understand what it means to be chosen. Now, God is an intentional God. And there was an order for his choosing. Normally, God and picks the first one. God and picks the first one. Normally. But as we look to scriptures, when we saw two scriptures, Jacob gave birth to 12 children. God should have chosen Reuben. But Reuben did something that was against the covenant. Slept with his father's wife. And it left him. Now the hand of God looked for another person in that family. And he found the man called Judah. When Judah gave birth to three sons, the hand of God was on his first son called Ear. However, Ear did wickedness. God needed to kill him. And God did the work of the promise rested on his wife. Which was called Tamar. I want to bring a Victoria scripture. Of what it means to be chosen. When it fell on the lady called Tamar. According to the right of his, of his If you sleep with the widow of your brother. You are raising up offspring for your brother. Do you understand what I'm saying? If you sleep with the, with the widow of your brother, the son of that lady is unto that firstborn. So because of that, the second born did not want to do that. He doesn't want to rave offspring for his brother. God also took him out. At the end of the day, I want to look at something. 
Judah slept with that lady. Judah bowed in us. And she gave back to twins. Oh, baby. The hand of God was on the first one. Oh, well, Lord, oh, well, Lord, which was perished by name. Fast forward. The fast forward. Now the Bible got to Jesse. Bibeli, what do you read, Jesse? Jesse had eight children. Jesse be on my jaw. And when Samuel came to anoint the king, that is Samuel according over. to normal standard, the firstborn should carry the mantle. But when the Samuel the prophet got there. God said, No, this is not the one. There was one that looked like it. He had the physique. Samuel was almost mistaken. But God said, I have chosen the one in the desert. I don't know where you may be in destiny. I don't know how disadvantaged you may be. But we send the word of the Lord to you tonight. That the hand of God will find you. And the hand of God will choose you. I am a now, let me tell you something. As beautiful as Joseph was, Joseph was prophetic from birth. God intentionally did not even pick him. He was a head for the promise. What I'm telling you that God is intentional. When God picks his people, he unpicks them. He carefully selects them. He carefully picks them. I want you to turn to somebody. Say, God has unpicked you. Hey, you are not saying that. Say, God has unpicked you. And for us to be the chosen. The Bible says, he has called us from darkness into his marvelous light. What this means is that God uses a method to call his chosen. God does not just stay on people. There is a method. The Bible says in Romans chapter 8, it says whom God predestinated, whom he foreknew, what he does is that he calls them. And after he calls them, he glorifies them. And what Jesus did on the cross of Calvary is to the end that he calls you and me. He cries and calls us. He calls you from darkness. I know you are entrenched in darkness. Because of money, you became a Yahoo boy. God is calling you. Oh, what God does is to call you. And if you look at the, the scripture before it, the Bible says there is some people called the disobedient. People that God calls and they don't heed the call of God. I want to tell us tonight. God is calling you. He's calling you to be at peace with him. He's calling you to be at peace with him. I was raped when I was a little child. That is why I'm into immorality. God is calling you. Do you know what God showed me? God showed me that. When Lazarus was dead for four days, what God did was not to be sleeping on him. Jesus did not went and sleep. What Jesus did was to call him forth. Lazarus, come forth. And what God is telling you tonight, come forth out of sin. Come forth out of immorality. Come into light. If there are some people here, I want and be. You have been disobedient up to this time. You are a saint on Sunday. But yet, 
You meddle with the da- with devil in the darkness. God is calling you. It's calling you to come forth. Come forth. Don't be disobedient. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you are here, you've not given your life to Christ. God is calling you to be at peace with him. Be at peace with God. If you want to be at peace with Jesus, it's a very simple thing. You just need to believe. An altar call will be raised. You are entrenched in darkness. God wants to call you forth. Don't be disobedient tonight. And the Lord, we call you into his marvelous life. In the name of Jesus, if you are peace with God, you will be at God will make your enemies to be at peace with you. I'm reminded of the seed that was raging. Because Jesus was at peace with the disciples. He said, peace be still. I decree on every storm. Storm of sickness. Storm of death. I decree in the name of Jesus. Peace be still. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, I want to go very fast because of my time. While I was praying, God gave me a body. And that body was from that scripture. That scripture we read. As beautiful as chosen is. As good as you can brag that I'm chosen. The way God has picked David, that's the way he picked men. There is a reason why you are chosen. That is why that scripture says to show forth the praises of him. That I want you to turn to somebody and say you are chosen for a reason. Come on, we are too close. Say you are chosen for a reason. God has chosen us. Because of my time, I will not do a lot of exegesis. I want to go straight into what God told me. God intentionally chose me. And I've come to sound an alarm on the youth of this church. God intentionally placed us here. God placed us here. God chose us here. The Bible says, as arrow in the mighty, in the hand of the mighty, so are the children of his youth. We are intentionally guided missiles into to the places of darkness. God intentionally unpicks us to be short as light to generations. Like Jesus said, I come in the volume of books to do thy will. There is a will God has apportioned for us in this country. And God is calling us forth. There is a responsibility. There is a responsibility. Jesus came to the picture. And he said, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach to the brokenhearted, to heal the sick. And scripture makes us to understand how God anointed Jesus with the Holy Ghost and power. We went about healing the oppressed. God has chosen us for a reason. I've come to ask you, do you know why you are chosen? A lot of us, we don't know why we are chosen. That is why some of us are lethargic. We are lazy. We are not ready to pay the price. 
And God told me to call a crowd. Because there is a generation of youth that will rise from this conference. Men with the gospel of free or peace shod on their feet. Men, we will say enough is enough to darkness. We will say enough is enough to darkness. Enough is enough to immorality. I will rise as the one God is calling. The Bible makes us to understand. In the book of Galatians, chapter 1, verse 15. Paul said, When he pleased the Lord, who separated me from my mother's womb? I began to ask myself a question. Paul said God separated him. And before he had the call of God, he was one of the persecutors of that thing he said God has separated him for. But when he had the call of Jesus, what happened to him was that he became a chosen missile. Oh dear, do Lord God. Send to to the Gentiles. And before we know it, he was an apostle to the Gentiles. Oh, what the apostle is full. And a time came in his life. A time came in his life. And the people saw him. They said the gods has come upon us. And they praised God because he came. I've come to ask us, youth of, of government. Government youth. Government students. Which generation we thank God because we came? A generation must say thank God because the youth of government came. God wants to raise youth for him. From this conference, youth that are chosen, chosen to roll back the hand of darkness. Increase your volume, sir. Increase your volume, sir. We want to go prophetic. God wants to raise young ones amongst us. I had the stories of our fathers. I had the story of one of our fathers in the land of in the northern state. When he got to that northern state. He saw that there is a need for the word of God to come. And like we were told, he took that calendar of the heart of man, placed it upon his child, and they went to the street to evangelize. And that was how government started. We are, I heard of a story of a revival in Bogan. Story of how God used our fathers. There is a cry upon every young one here. Like John the Baptist went to Jesus. And they asked him, Are you the one to come? Or should we wait for another? There is a cry upon us. Government youth. Government student. Are we the one God is waiting for? Are we the one God has chosen? I tell our, I tell us. Youth are heritage preservers. It is like a relay. What God has done through the fathers. God wants to do mightily to the youth. I was listening to our father and the Lord. And he said, God has no more, no one has the monopoly of the Holy Ghost. No one has the monopoly of the Holy Ghost. He said what God did through him, he can do to anyone. God wants to raise young ones like him. God wants to raise young ones. Men who will give themselves to the world. Until why God has chosen them, we come to reality. Until we become chosen for the work of the ministry. 
God wants to raise young men. And while I was praying, I was telling the Lord, darkness is rising in my youth. Darkness is rising. Youth of our time. Darkness is rising. God must raise a burning generation. The Bible says, in the end time, the love of many will work cold. And say, God, out of government, raise a burning generation. Raise a blessed generation. Men who will not succumb to darkness. Men who will not give in to iniquity. Men who will not give in to immorality. Men who will carry the power of God. Men who will move. Like the way he moved our fathers. God must come upon our generation. There is a cry. Are we the one to come? Or should we wait for another? I've come to answer that cry. We are that generation. Look in the house. We are that generation. We are that generation. Our fathers will look upon us and they will smile because same anointing, greater unction came upon us. We will look upon us. We are that generation that we had family limitations. We are that generation that we had family limitation. We are that generation that we had the reign of darkness. Our come to speak upon us. Awake, awake. God will meet you that way. God is counting on us. We are chosen for a time like this. We are chosen. God has used our fathers. We will pray now. We will pray now. But let me say this. Are you ready for this? If you are that generation, I want you to start praying. Now, God has used our fathers. God is using them. From today's message, as Daddy Gio was telling us, it is not charm. It was prayer. It was not charm. It was the word of God. He said, and I quote, I've seen the blind see. I've seen the lame walk. I'm saying to you, God can raise the dead from us. God can heal the sick from us. A generation must rise. It will not rise from another denomination. It will not rise from another denomination. Government is included. Our youth will be on fire. Our youth will be blessed. God will raise this generation. I've come and I've asked the Lord. I said, God, give us 10,000 youth. Give us 10,000 youth. Youth who will be church planters. They will go into the field and say, Peace be still. They will go to the hands of the world. I said, God must come. I've come to tell us. God will come in our day. He will not tarry. Government youth have come to tell us God will come. Revival will break out again. We will not sit alone in church. God will export us and send us to the dark places of politics. Send us to the dark places of politics. Send us to the dark places of ministry. And we will shine the light. 
I don't know if I'm talking to the right generation. But I know God will come upon government youth. God will come upon government students. If you know you are that generation, that will bring light to darkness. And it's time to pray. And say, God, come upon this generation. Come upon my generation. Youth in the house, are we ready to pray? Can we rise to our feet and say, God, come upon this generation. Come upon this generation. Come upon this generation. Like you did in the life of our fathers. Come upon this generation. Come upon this generation. Like you did in the life of our fathers. Come strong. Come powerful. Is this how we pray, government youth? Come on, ask the Lord. Shaka parasila Come upon this generation. What's in our year? Come upon our generation. Shine the light upon our generation. You that we pray. You that we pray. Come upon our generation. Come upon our generation. Shine your light. You to the house. I want us to pray for two minutes. Grab the hand of a of a serious neighbor. Grab the hand of a neighbor. And say, Lord, shine upon our generation. Shine upon our generation. Shine upon this generation. We are chosen for a reason. 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 Hayatarasca Reta Kapa Parasako La Keroda Shata Brakeso Malata La Paradaya La Sata Shanta Korea Kataya. I will pray, I will pray. I will pray. Give us ten thousand shoots. Men who will labor, men who will labor, men who will labor, Parada Baba Lada Basha Kapai. Hallelujah! 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 Hallelujah. Revival must come again. I heard of a story. In the land of Bogon. Oh my God. Jesus. Jesus. Young ones were, were healing the sick. I want to, what's in, what, the I youth want of this generation life. talks too much. I want to, there is less power. What, 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 we what, want, want to hack the Lord. Lord. We'll do this for 30 seconds. <laughs> I want you to be intentional. I say, Lord, do not pass us by. Do not pass us by. Do not pass us by. Come strong and mighty. We want to carry the powers of all. Because for this cause, we came into the world. Oh, my Jesus. Come upon our generation. Oh my Lord. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, I will pray. Can we lift up our hands? While I was praying, I saw a vision. Lift up your hands, everybody. I saw a vision. I saw somebody wearing a garment of light. And they begin to multiply. From two, four, eight, until the whole auditorium was filled with light. Lord, I decree. By the power of your word, raise us. As light in this generation, raise us as light in this generation. Raise us as light in this generation. If the darkness grows thicker, 
let our light shine brighter. When man grows colder, let us go with fire. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Before I round up here, I want our fathers to pray for us. Youth of this church, you know that you are chosen. And we want to carry an impartation of the Spirit of God and power. Can you come forward? Let's just come forward. Let's come forward. Let's come forward. Let's come forward. We want to receive a touch of the glory of God. We want to receive a touch of the power of Jesus. Come forward. As one of our fathers pray for us. As one of our fathers pray for us. Let's come forward. Come forward. I ask God for 10,000. We want a God for Jesus. We want a God for Jesus. Come forward. Come forward. This youth must go for Jesus. We want to receive blessing. Are we ready to receive? As our Father prays for us. Come forward. Eko papa asukapa, liki to to zakaya bashota, liki diki 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 diki, liko skalpo prakatas, lika sutata, lika shunda kaparias, ipiki kiki zuta kata payabash, melinda kuka kusuka lika shida, runde kete kete libash, lika kuka kabasi, mazunde kete kete kete, liku shatwa. Bless, 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 bless. Hallelujah. 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 I want all of you just to stretch your hands towards this place. And I make him to be just a touch to other youths. Almighty and everlasting Father, we thank you very much. We thank you because we are glad, we are happy to see our children, our youths in this church speaking the word of God with power and authority. By the grace of God, youths, There are greater days ahead of you. Amen. You will not disappoint this church. Amen. You will grow greater and greater and greater in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You will do better than us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. A 
of course, we are not we are not we are not sitting on the fence. We are also pressing forward. Hallelujah. <laughs> God bless you. Amen. Brother, God bless you. Amen. Use God bless you. Amen. Guide and protect you. Amen. He has a plan for you. Yes. And I release impartation. Yes, Lord. To all of you. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Wherever you speak the word of God, yes, Lord. there will be an establishment. Amen. A fulfillment. Amen. Of the words. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I want to I want to give you a charge. Go Hello. and bring more of your people. More, more of your type. Who have not known Jesus. Bring them to Christ. The Lord will help you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I speak more impartation upon you. Amen. In the name of the Father. Amen. The Son. Amen. And the Holy Spirit. Amen. God keep watch over you. Amen. Day and night. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Bless you, bless you, brother. God bless you. 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 Stand up, stand up.